Hello, fellow teenagers. This is a TJ for all. <laughs> Yesterday was a wonderful day for me because it was my birthday. By the way, today is a new day, and I'm making a video tutorial about the Steam application. But before then, let me take a minute to explain what Steam is. The Steam mobile application is an application built by good karma for navigating steam it's post and also gloss blockchain steam it is actually an open source platform where one gets paid to contribute in the community by writing articles and creating them before we begin let's download the Steam mobile app. To download the Steam mobile app, you navigate to your mobile play store. As mobile play store, you search for Steam app. Steam app. Good. You can see Steam built by uh, Ferus M. That's the Steam application. Now you click install. The application size is by now 30.33 megabytes. Shouldn't take that long to download, depending on your internet access speed. So as the um, Steam application is downloading, let me browse through some of the features this application has installed for us. First of all, one is able to access unique art articles on the two blockchains, Golos and Steemit, through this wonderful mobile app. Also, you are able to engage with others through comments and posting. You can publish your article through the Esteem application. Write and save your articles also there. Writing and saving your articles, you can actually save them in multiple drafts so that you can later on edit um, all your articles. You can bookmark your favorite articles also with the Esteem application. You can exchange cash out or transfer funds through the application since the two blockchains use a currency. You can search for followers and get notifications for every action that goes on on the blockchain. You can search through tags, topics, and keywords. Last but not the least, you can actually personalize your profile to suit your choice. Also, security-wise, the application is very secure since it provides it provides since um, your look your password is stored locally and not transferred to any server. There are several translations in all to 58 translations for the application, so you can find out whether you can get um, your local translation there and enjoy it locally. These are some of the features that I'm able to cover right now. So as you have been, you, you saw me downloading the application. Now I've downloaded the application. It first sends me to the training page. Okay. So let me go back to the training page. Okay. The first navigation you need to do is log in when you register when you download the application. How to log in? You you see the three horizontal lines at the upper left corner. Tapping on it will open the menu. The menu consists of login, home, marketplace, settings, SAQ, and about. So to log in, you click on login. 
Now, on the login page, you are provided with Steam. When you tap on the Steam, you can change from the Steam blockchain to the Galos blockchain just by selecting your preference. So, once you are logging into Steam, you enter your username and then password. There are actually advanced settings where you can actually choose not to use your master password. You can use your posting key to log in. You can use your active private key to also log in to the Steam application. That's really wonderful. So basically, that's how we log in into the application. Let's go back to the menu for me to explain more of the other features. Clicking home will send you to the article pages, most likely the training page. This is where you will be able to browse through all the articles on the page after you have logged in. So a simple um, example, for instance, I'm looking for an article in a session. I click on the search icon. I'll be giving a search bar, a tag, and then close button. That means I can go back to my previous page. So in case um, the article I'm looking for is in Utopian, Utopian, the IO, sorry, Utopian hyphen IO. IO. Clicking on it will expose me to all the Utopian articles. So Utopian gift contest will come. Actually, this gave me the newest articles written on Utopian. To select the trending ones, all you have to do is tap on the drop down arrow right here. And then and then you can select trending, hot, new, active, promoted, or votes, or comments, or payouts to sort to sort your articles in that order. On the trending page, you get what is actually trending: the high posts, the really interesting ones, lots of comments, lots of that payouts. As you can see, that's what you get on the trending page, and also. On the hot page, on, on, on the new page are newly submitted articles. On the hot page, you get, um, you get articles with moderate um, engagement levels and payout levels. Okay. And on active, sorry, on promoted, you get articles that are being promoted. People are paying money to, you know, get exposure. Okay, let's go to active. I actually don't know what, what, what it is. But it seems there are articles there. <laughs> Bro, I don't know this sort and what it does actually. Okay, so let's go to verse 2. The articles are sorted per vote, per number of votes, the highest vote being first and then followed by that. Okay. Comments. The number of comments the article has. The highest comments being the ones on top, followed in that seat. And then also payouts. As you can see, the article with the highest payouts in that tag will show. So basically, that's how we, we we find an article. There's also one thing you can do here. You can find a user by clicking on the tag, on the tag drop down arrow, and clicking on user. Here you have to enter the name of the user. Here, so I'm TJ for real. So let me look for TJ for real. TJ for real. Good. As you can see, the username appeared, and when I typed the name and entered my post, you can see my profile right there. 
this is me at DJ Forum. Yeah, that's wonderful. Let's go back to where we are. Also, you can search for a post. This is really lovely because you type in a keyword for the post. For, for, for example, tutorial, tutorial for, for hunting. You get something, <laughs> some post about that. So basically, you can search for post using that. But I think the filtering is really awful. You need to work on that. Okay. So now let's go to the marketplace. So as there to see, the marketplace is still under development. They are external apps actually. We have the Steam Monitor, and then we have Fullpress. Okay. Now let's go to settings. The basic thing that we should have actually went to before starting everything. On settings, you have your pin code. You can actually decide to put a pin code on your application to prevent others from, you know, entering. Because your phone is not really secure. If anybody takes your phone and then is able to access your Steam app, he can virtually do anything he wants with it. Okay, so let's go to configuration. On configuration, you have compact view. Compact view will compact your posts. It will make them in a less form. It will make them smaller. Then we have night nice mode. Night mode will actually turn your screen into um, black and white. The background will be black and the writings will be white. Okay. You can decide to choose fetch images. For people in places like myself, you know, in the African and tropical bands, data charges is really awful and we hardly have unlimited data usage so choosing fetch images prevents your phone from automatically downloading images on the platform so you have to click on them to download that's really wonderful so the toggle triggers between you manually fetching for the for the um, image or it's automatically downloading it. Then we have the NSF trigger. The NSF trigger is actually a trigger to, to, to um, if you don't want to see nude, um, nude posts, posts with nude content, then you, 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 you use this trigger to, you know, alert you that this post that you're going to view is actually above 18 and contains um, those contains. On the languages, you can select the language you want. There are, you know, most, you know, 58 or so languages that you can select. The Ghanaian language is in part. <laughs> That's where I am from. The Yoruba is part of it. Okay. So the currency. The currency you want to see um, your posting. You can actually choose all these currencies to be your posting. That's when uh, you can use it to, you know, when you post on Steam, you get paid, Steam it, you get paid with Steam, but it is actually uh, measured in dollars for a clear picture. You can choose either US dollars, Canadian dollars, Ghana CDs or any other um, currency for easy um, translation. And then the chain. The chain is the blockchain you want to select. Whether you want to use the Golox or the Steam. If you have an account on Golox, you can use it using the, this wonderful application and enjoy all the features. And also with the server, sometimes Steamit.com server goes down. You can choose all these other servers. 
teammates are essentially moved forward with the server list. Previously, it wasn't this many. I thank God for developers trying the, all their best to get teammates on installs. So, let me choose this server. The previous one, that was one. Okay. Basically, that's all about the settings. Now, let's go to the FAQ. The FAQ is simply frequently asked questions. Frequently asked questions. I'm having a problem with my internet. Okay, on this panel, you are supposed to see um, frequently asked questions. It's really awesome for a new beginner. You need to know it. It's what actually kept, kept me through the platform, which month me throughout so basically these are some of the features um, esteem application offers the about page talks simply about the feature list the esteem platform the security I've already gone through all these with you I've already gone through all these with you so basically that's a simple review tutorial about the esteem application Thank you for watching. My next tutorial will be about logging in and then writing your first post. How to go about it. To so be about that. So watch out and keep updated. Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel as you are watching to get more feed. Thank you very much. Bye bye.